Your drawings never come out exactly like you envisioned. You mess up a lot. Want to know what separates the pros from the beginners? Beginners. beginners. In this video, we're going to talk about five mistakes that beginner anime and manga artists commonly make. We've actually worked with over 200 artists already, and we've seen and heard it all. From limiting beliefs, to bad habits, to lack of basic drawing foundations. If you've been struggling with your art for a couple of months or maybe even years already, then this video is definitely for you. Just a disclaimer, we're not here to shame or guilt trip anyone. In fact, the mission of our channel is to help beginner anime and manga artists just like you feel more confident and fulfilled in your art. If you resound with this mission, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video. Mistake number one mindless copying. Let's admit it, you've probably been a human photocopier at some point in your life. Most of us start our art journey by copying other people's art. Copying as a beginner isn't really bad. And we've even interviewed pro-Japanese manga artist Nao Yazawa. She's the illustrator of the iconic 90s shoujo anime Wedding Peach, and she herself admits to this. Try to copy is, I think, is not bad. Very, very unique manga artist is quite rare. So don't feel bad about yourself if you need to copy something. This is how you can learn important techniques when you're just starting out. And copying how successful artists draw is something that people have been doing for centuries. I mean, just look at all these variations of the Mona Lisa made by different artists. They were all trying to learn from Da Vinci. But just a word of caution. Simply copying other artists can only get you so far. Think about it. Let's say you draw your favorite anime character by copying someone else's work. When you take away that reference and try to draw again, does it still look good? I bet you'd struggle when there's nothing else to copy from. When you just draw everything line by line without thinking about what you're doing, you'll never be able to draw without copying. You may never develop your own creative voice. So, what can you do? Stop being a mindless zombie and think more like a curious scientist. Start asking questions. My art doesn't look as good as my reference. What did I do wrong? I wonder why it's drawn this way. Hmm, I like this artist's style. What makes it so unique? Don't be scared of copying from different artists and picking out the different elements that you like the best. Apply these techniques to your own artwork and keep experimenting. This is the best way to develop your own original style. Mistake number two, skipping the basics. Would you expect a baby to do algebra before they can even count? Of course not, right? So why do we expect ourselves to instantly become great artists without even investing in basic drawing foundations? If you're guilty of this, let us know in the comments. This is something that we've seen a lot with our own students when they start out with us. They never really thought about studying the basic shapes that make up a character and they just went straight to drawing them. What happens when you don't learn the basics first? You mess up. A lot. Take for instance this headshot drawing by one of our students. In our live critiquing sessions, our mentor Yazawa Sensei pointed out the importance of the center line. This line helps you place your nose and your mouth properly on the face. It might look very simple, but just see the difference when you implement this properly. Yeah, it's tedious, maybe even a little boring. Who wants to spend time drawing circles and lines when you can just draw Naruto right away? But trust us, it's worth it. If you skip steps, it will come back to haunt you later on. You'll end up feeling more stuck and frustrated. It's ironic because a lot of people skip the basics thinking it's a waste of time. But actually, it will save you so much time and make everything much easier. Here's what our student Raven had to say. Using the shapes matters. I tend to avoid it because I feel like it takes me longer. Plot twist, it usually doesn't. And my drawings aren't all that good. It actually took less effort than usual and came out better than usual. The basics matter and I wish I hadn't skipped them when I was first learning. We had been working with Raven for less than two months when she hit an incredible milestone. She said, I drew the most beautiful man I've ever drawn today. 
I know he needs some tweaks, but I'm so happy with him. Pretty impressive how far she was able to go from just starting out with squares and circles, right? So next time you feel like skipping the basics, don't. We talk to so many beginner artists that want to draw every stroke perfectly. Everything has to be clean, everything has to look good right away. Then when you make even the smallest mistake, you get frustrated and want to stop. Your drawings never come out exactly like you envisioned. So why bother? Reality check, we can't all be great artists right away. In fact, there are even famous mangakas who weren't great at drawing when they started. For example, do you know how bad the original art was for One Punch Man? The manga's author, Wan Sensei, first posted it as a webcomic where he drew everything on his own. A far cry from the One Punch Man manga art of today, right? Even though the manga's art looked like that at first, it still became insanely popular. It was actually picked up by Yusuke Murata, who was also the artist for Eye Shield 21. We get to enjoy One Punch Man today because one sensei wasn't scared to show his creation to the world, even though he couldn't draw as well as other manga artists. I'm sure you've probably scrapped a lot of your artworks because you felt like it just didn't meet your standards. Perfectionism is the enemy of progress. And it most often stems from our fear of failure. But the truth is, you will fail. You will fail a lot. Bad art is a part of every artist's journey. The best thing you can do, you learn from your mistakes and do better the next time around. Take time to analyze what you can improve on and try again. If you want to become a better anime artist, you have to learn how to embrace your failures and just let them go. Don't aim for perfection. Just aim to be a better artist than you were yesterday. I'm sure you felt jealous of other artists at some point in your life. I won't ever be as good as my favorite artist. I can never make art as beautiful as this. Oh my god, will I ever make good art? Do these feel familiar to you? Because of social media, Art is accessible more than ever, and I bet you've spent hours stalking your favorite artist. But seeing such great art all the time can be a bit intimidating. Your insecurities start creeping in, and you start feeling like you could never be as good as them and lose the motivation to draw. Once you get into that slump, it could take weeks, months, or maybe even years to get out of it. What's the solution? Focus on yourself. Focus on making your art better without minding other people's progress. If you find that there are certain artists that you follow that particularly trigger your feelings of jealousy, then allow yourself to unfollow them. Go on a detox if you need to. I remember there was a particular artist that I followed. I was jealous of her because we were about the same age, but her art was better and it looked like she got more art commissions. I became obsessed. I'd check on her art account multiple times a day as if that would really make a difference. Months later, I realized I was wasting time obsessing over this girl rather than spending that time actually drawing. If I had put that energy into my art, I would have improved so much more. Instead, I became a stalker. Jealousy or envy in small amounts can help motivate you to become better. But if it starts to become unhealthy and consume you, then that's when it becomes a problem. Your jealousy can be distracting you from the real goal, becoming a better artist. Ultimately, the only person you should keep comparing yourself to is yourself. The fifth and last mistake is a big one, running away. We don't just mean running away from art altogether. Have you ever avoided drawing the second eye? Have you been drawing your characters with their hands behind their backs or in their pockets? Or do you only ever draw your characters from the chest up because drawing the full body would just be too complicated? If you've done any of these, then you've done it. You've run away. And the reason why is because it's hard. It's not fun anymore. And you'd rather take shortcuts to avoid this discomfort completely. Before long, you'll probably start to notice that all your artworks have become boring. You just repeat the same stuff you're used to again and again. You want to know what separates the pros from the beginners? They know when it's time to leave their comfort zone. They don't run away just because something becomes hard to draw. They know it's going to take lots of hard work and practice 
to transform their art, but they're willing to invest their blood, sweat, and tears into it. Think about it this way. In school, you probably had a subject that you hated. Maybe it was math, science, or history, but you still had to learn it for years because you didn't really have a choice. Imagine how many hours it took for you collectively to sit in those classes, study for tests, do your homework. If you were able to survive that, then why is it so hard to make the same kind of sacrifice for something that you love? Art. It's time to stop running away from things that are hard. If you feel nervous and unsure, then you're doing it right. That means you're doing something new. And that's how you grow and become a better artist. If you're serious about becoming a better anime and manga artist, then it's not just about technical skill. A big part of it is all about your mindset. You have to overcome your insecurities, build that grit and that determination to keep on drawing even though it becomes a little bit more more difficult than when you first started. If you're a beginner anime and manga artist that needs a little bit more help and inspiration, then I invite you to watch our free basic anime drawing masterclass. We actually talk more about the problems you might be facing and some more solutions that could help you out. We'll put the link in the description, so please make sure to check it out. Thank you so much for staying until the very end. We'll see you in our next video.